hello guys uh, today i am showing you how to use page navigation and flutter i mean by clicking a button you can push or you can go to the second page so let's do it first create a project it's an this is the project just i open and skip the video because it's time for new just when you open a project and this will be the shown code and this is the face so first uh, remove all of these uh, like uh, First, let's take full widget. Okay. So, uh, the name of this is my app. So, this is the full. We have to go to our second page. Let's get create our second page. First, uh, live folder, new dot file, uh, second page. Uh, how to innovation? Yes, the some import material of dark. Some step for visit. Uh, step list link. Uh, step list. This is the second page. And then for the first page, uh, we have to take a material app. And debug. Uh, off so that's gone sorry we have uh, not declared home this scaffold now it's a scaffold and then this the body scaffold has body body uh, safe area child Hot reload. So I have to restart the app. Okay, this is the container, and we have to create a button which is elevated so, child <coughs> elevated button. Uh, elevated button has properties uh, with some voices. Uh, on pressed and icon so on pressed just declare the function then we have to go for icon so child icon icons dot uh, we should we take anything or we don't take icon we take text Reload. Yeah. Make it center. Okay. Uh, not center. The elevated button. I should take it center. Okay. It's center. Uh, what's this? Is a minor error. Mm, that's Modify okay, so don't hit for <coughs> annoying. See here, we can see and move on. Just ignore it. Okay. Uh, when you click this, look when you click the second button, it's nothing. So, first of all, uh, we have to create something on second page so we can uh, recognize the second page we go to the second page and the container uh, and the safe area let's go to the safe area and this container then container as child 
child has takes which is the this this second page okay and then uh, style this uh, style we have to increase our font size to font size and make it 40 make it 40 so we can so this is our second page then when you click it it will create a text which is this is second page okay now go to the first page now when you click to the second page button this will open the second page so before that uh, we have to create another thing that is app bar for back our app bar is app bar uh, which is title title i think this page sorry text page application okay this is the thing we have to make it center with this center title is true so this will take the navigation text in the middle see okay our pay our structure is complete now go for second page good so here we see there is elevated button and we have a method which is function we oh sorry we have a function that on pressed and we have to do some code the second page or page navigation for the second page we have to navigate with this navigator this is navigator dot off which is context context dot we have to push push means we have to go to the we have to push the button for second page and pop means we have to back so push so here there is a route we have to use material base route see material base route mpr material base route so then we have there is a builder uh, we have to create a context with this field context context uh, first okay, second one context so i have call the second page thing. second page class is second page so copy the text and paste it see we have import one see just follow me second page has the error so error is i have to put the class is still a error cursor here input library for the second piece input. it will auto generate it then second page dot and we can now use it see now restart uh, sorry there is some error where is the error i think there okay now restart that As it is that we have to go to the second place. Press click. Uh, we have some error. Uh, so where is the error? So there is some error. So what we will do? Uh, we will remove this and return. Uh, remove this and cut it to code the whole code okay just got the whole code so we have to direct for the function so we can return the second page second page okay now okay. I'll restart uh, I'll try this I think it will work no work see uh, I have an error which is called navigator operation requested with a context that not does not include a navigator. I do not cut the video. I want to show you how to fix it. 
so for fixing it we have to call another statelets or stateful class or widget uh, in the material layer so what we will do what we will do look for mark cut the full scaffold cut and set it home page also home page now now it will be show some error uh, let's create another st state visit which is on home page okay okay now in this Home page widget. We will do our work. This is scaffold. Now, if we restart the app, then close it. There is a second piece. I think you will understand why this error. Because uh, we have to uh, initiate another set list widget uh, in the material app. In the direct material app navigator push call there is an error i can find see uh, because the, when you call a navigator of context framework goes up in widget tree attached to provided context and tries to find the closest navigator so the easiest way where that we have all uh, we have to we have follow i mean i have follow the rules is this and the uh, how is this in the material lab he called another class i mean another stateful widget then he used the navigator class now go back to our project in second place and this is black why because we don't have any scaffold and in the scaffold it is still the body this is the second page so, so for there is no option for backing so for backing we have to create a app bar let's copy our previous app bar uh, which is there copy the app bar and paste it okay so when you create an app bar it will automatically create a back button so we don't have to create a back button if we have app bar so second page push in back i mean pop the navigate first phase second phase first phase thank you <laughs>